one guys I have a question from calculus right here the question is asking each limit represents the derivative of some function f at some number a states such that f and a in each case so first of all in order to do this question we have to know the formula for the derivative function let's see so this is going to be the formula f of x is derivative is equal is f of a let's see this they, they have given a so I'm using a this is going to be a plus h f of a plus h and minus f of h over h so this is going to be my formula from this formula I can find uh, find this this values so first of all the first question it's square root of 9 plus h minus 3 over h so in this case they are asking what is my what is the f of x so the first question is going to be f of x is going to be square root of x because 9 is the x value so it's going to be just x right square root of x that that's the form and f, f of x is equal to square root of x and a value is going to be root 9 is going to be 3 and the second question limit f so if you see this is f, uh, x plus h so it's going to be 2 to the power of actually 2 to the f of x is 2 to the power of x that's my f of x and my a value is going to be just 3 and in the third question my f of x is going to be x to the power of 6 and they have given x approaches 2 and it's 2 to the power of 6 so therefore uh, the a is going to be 2 and 40 f of f of x is going to be 1 over x and a is going to be approaching 1 over 4 so this is going to be 1 over 4 uh, a is going to be 1 over 4 so that's my answer for this question and in the 41 uh, it's going to be f of x is going to be cos phi because it's going to be cos phi plus h so f of x is going to be cos phi and my a is going to be this phi value so this is going to be just phi and 42 it's going to be f of x is going to be sin sin x and my a is going to be phi over 6 so this is how we do this question and I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.